We are just about to ready to get ourselves going here. <clears throat> uh, thank you so much for taking time out of your day uh, to join me in this uh, consumer lecture. And really it's a, it's a pretty basic consumer lecture, but it does provide you with all the background information that you're gonna find helpful uh, uh, to support uh, immune functioning, uh, to get more information about host defense mushrooms and how they can be helpful. Uh, so uh, for everyone out there, my name is Jerry Angelini and I am the head of education here at Host Defense Mushrooms. And um, I think we're just about ready to get going. Uh, it is uh, 4.30 here in San Diego time. Uh, so welcome, no matter where you're, you're joining me from, it's great that you're here. Uh, and it's really nice that we can provide this kind of training uh, virtually for people literally all over the world uh, and uh, so that they can get more information about host defense and their immune response too. Um, as a gentle reminder, we do not diagnose, treat, prevent, cure any illness or disease. Uh, if you do have a health uh, concern, we really strongly suggest that you work with an integrative healthcare practitioner. Uh, just they're going to help you get over some of the bumps and hurdles in your process. And it's always nice to have someone that uh, can hear you, can listen and respond in a, in a beneficial way. So definitely work with someone. Uh, we love to start off our lectures here at Host Defense with some fun facts about mushrooms. Uh, mushrooms have been used cross-culturally on almost every continent of the planet. Uh, they have been used before the written word, and the image here is uh, from the Tassili cave structures in Northern Africa, in Algeria, uh, and it's believed to be over 6,000 years old. Uh, it has been hypothesized that it's a depiction of a shaman covered in mushrooms wearing a bee's mask. Now the hat you see down here in the bottom corner is made from the Amadou mushroom. And if you're familiar with the owner of fungi perfecti and host defense, Paul Stamets, he frequently wears one of these hats. Uh, mushrooms have uh, been used by humans in many applications, uh, starters, uh, punk for early rifles, food, clothing, and uh, also uh, to support our health and wellness. And over here on the left-hand side, uh, that's a sliced up reishi mushroom. And uh, it's been called the mushroom of immortality. Uh, and it has historically been used in China and Japan uh, for literally a couple of thousands of years. Uh, and for some period of that time, it was only reserved for the royal families. So uh, pretty cool substance, one of our favorite mushrooms. Another interesting fun fact is that we share about 55% of our DNA with mushrooms. Well, we only share about 15% of our DNA with plants. Uh, many of us know how great herbs can support our health. And so just imagine what uh, mushrooms might be able to do for us uh, if we support if we share that much genetic information, right? Uh, structurally, mushrooms and plants have similar parts, but their functions are radically different. Plants have roots, and uh, these roots passively absorb the nutrients. Mushrooms do have a root-like structure; it's called mycelium. However, mycelium function is really very different, uh, and it's really the body of the mushroom. Uh, the mycelium carry out all of the day-to-day -day life functions. They secrete enzymes, just like our digestive tract. Much, uh, the mycelium make immune complexes to defend themselves uh, from pathogens and competitive species. And also mycelium create quorum sensing compounds and these allow them to adapt to their ever-changing environment. So it's really very much like our sensory organs. So these similarities, but the differences um, uh, uh, between humans and mushrooms are really what make it them particularly helpful. So we do all of those things within our skin, mushrooms do all of that in their environment. So they secrete that all of those substances right into the world around them. Uh, so we can capture and conserve many of these compounds that from the mushroom mycelium and then use them for our own health and longevity. 
Uh, a healthy immune system is a balanced immune system. Uh, we want to help people understand that maintaining the immune response in a balanced state is a, is a key factor for health and wellness. So there are four basic aspects of immune response. Uh, the first is engagement, then recruitment, clearance, and watchful waiting. Uh, so this green area here, uh, the arrow, is where it really all starts. The immune system encounters an internal or an external trigger, and it engages into action. The orange area is where those immune cells recruit each other in fairly complex ways. The immune response is hard at work here, and we typically feel this pretty significantly. Uh, clearance uh, is the set of processes that help clean up the wreckage that may have occurred from the trigger and our, or our own response to it. Uh, and then you'll see modulation in the middle here. And modulation helps manage the immune response. And ultimately, it sends the response to a place of uh, watchful waiting. So it pacifies it. Uh, modulation monitors the immune response and ultimately brings it back into a state of alert yet watchful waiting. So although there are stages, they're not linear. Uh, there may be multiple triggers of engagement. Uh, in a healthy immune response, modulation occurs throughout every step. Uh, that, and so this is what keeps our immune cells functioning within normal limits. And we use a set of feedback loops to do that. Uh, so in order for our bodies to thrive, we really need to be able to engage that immune system uh, rapidly. Uh, we want it to be strong and flexible and responsive. Uh, we don't want it to be underactive, uh, nor do we want it to be overreactive uh, or um, like super sensitive either, right? So for the average person, uh, and even the not so average person, right? Modulation of the immune system is a, a much better end goal as compared to simple immune stimulation. A lot of pretty colors on this slide, right? So let me walk you through it. Um, there are a bunch of different types of immune cells uh, that are associated with our immunity. You've got things like dendritic cells and monocytes and macrophages. And then way up here, you have natural killer cells. Uh, um, these are rapid responders. They address immediate triggers. They engage at contact and sustain a generalized immune response. Uh, now there's a whole nother group over here called like uh, the granulocytes, right? And these are eosinophils and basophils and neutrophils and mast cells. Uh, these cells are typically engaged in, uh, in response to really specific types of external environmental triggers. Uh, you've got B cells over here, um, plasma cells, you've got T cells up here, uh, and you've got some like uh, T helper cells and cytotoxic T cells, and you've got memory cells, and these are associated with the acquired immune response. So the acquired immune response is slower than the innate immune response, which is uh, oftentimes these dendritic cells and monocytes and macrophages and natural killer cells. Um, these acquired immune cells can take anywhere from seven to 14 days to fully engage when it's responding to a novel trigger. Uh, however, uh, it is specific and targeted in its ability to identify and respond to triggers. In some ethnobotanical traditions, health begins in the gut. Uh, many people consider the intestinal tract as solely a digestive organ. The intestinal tract is a rich repository of barrier tissues, epithelial cells, immune cells, vasculature, lymphatic tissue, and microorganisms. Uh, it is estimated that approximately 70% of our immune cells reside in the specialized immune tissue of the intestinal tract. Uh, in this picture, you're going to see villi, that's these structures here, also over here. Uh, and they are finger-like projections that increase the surface area of the intestinal tract, and it increases absorption, and it also creates a landscape for our you know, our microbiome, our friendly microflora, 
hopefully a lot of those, right? Uh, there are microvilli covering each of the epithelial cells. So you'll notice those little hair-like projections on top there. Those are microvilli. Uh, the uh, barrier tissue is often referred to as the brush border because those microvilli appear to look like bristles of a brush, right? Uh, within the intestinal lining, there are immune um, cells and areas called Peyer's patches uh, and lymphatic vessels and lymph nodes. You'll see those down here and down here, right? So uh, this is where the lion's share of the immune cells within the whole body reside and function. Uh, the intestinal microbiome, for the most part, resides in a mucosal lining uh, that sits on top of that brush border. Intestinal microflora can create biofilms uh, and subside in the nutrient-rich environment of that intestinal tract. There is a tremendous amount of immune activity that is activated and modulated by the gut microbiome. Uh, therefore, supporting a probiotic microbiome and supporting a balanced immune response in the intestinal tract are related uh, and they're important strategies for long-term health and wellness. Because when we have lots of probiotics, it sends signals of tolerance and modulation. But if you've got an unbalanced microbiome that has a lot of not so wonderful microbes, it can actually trigger an immune response too. So uh, having a really healthy intestinal microbiome is a critical aspect of balanced immune functioning. All right. When host defense started uh, in the supplement retail arena over 10 years ago, we were, uh, there really weren't a lot of mushroom companies around at the time. And now there are several companies that specialize in mushroom production. Uh, there are lots of others that have mushroom products or products that contain mushrooms. Uh, host defense is still unique in this ever expanding niche uh, of the retail market. Um, and, a really important aspect of the host defense line is due to the great lengths that we take to make sure that our products are safe and effective. So we, we adhere to good manufacturing practices. We utilize independent labs with internationally recognized and valid testing methods for identity, purity, composition, and strength. Uh, we use genetic and biochemical assays to validate the authenticity of our mushrooms and our herbs. We test our products for pesticides, industrial compounds, heavy metals, and microbiological contamination too. So we wanna make sure that the products are safe as well as effective. We grow our own products uh, in Washington state located on the lower Olympic Peninsula. This is what we you know, lovingly referred to as mushroom heaven. Uh, Host Defense has certified organic status as mushroom growers and manufacturers, and we have been so for over 20 years. We use the mushroom mycelium, the fermented rice, and the adult fruit bodies, depending upon the product. We are vertically integrated and we are beyond carbon neutral. We offset over 10 times the amount of carbon we emit annually, and we support global initiatives to reduce carbon. Uh, we also donate towards research on microremediation or filtration um, uh, projects, uh, but also other projects that are associated with how mycelium can enhance planetary health. So uh, we're in it not just for us humans, but really for the whole planet and our sister species too. One of the ways that host defense is unique is that we're using all parts of the mushroom. We do use the mycelium, the fermented substrate, which is the rice and the adult fruit body. And you'll see in this picture here under the magnifying glass, right? Uh, that's the mycelium and it's a network of fungal filaments and they're only about one cell wall thick. Uh, and, and that's what's called an electron scanning micrograph. 
Uh, you can also see in the middle picture uh, what the uh, mycelium looks like just with the naked eye, right? And you'll see all of that white stuff. That's all mycelium. It's really kind of cool when you see it um, uh, growing out. And then on the right here, this is one of the adult fruit bodies. This is lion's mane, also called pom-pom blanc. So think about a white pom-pom. And really what research tells us is that all aspects of the mushroom are rich in health promoting compounds. A host defense recognizes these facts and the research. So we incorporate all of the mushroom into our products. We grow mushroom mycelium on rice and there's excellent scientific reasoning for using rice as a growth media. Uh, rice is a great food source for both mushroom myceliums and us humans, right? It's naturally gluten-free. It's really well tolerated by most people. Uh, the mycelium ferments the rice and it secretes enzymes that break down the fiber and starch. So it makes the nutrients readily available for our bodies. Uh, the mycelium digests, and in fact, it converts uh, many of the rice starches into uh, highly nutritive compounds. Uh, some of these are called arabinoxylanes, uh, and these are immune supportive polysaccharides. So rice allows for us to harvest the mycelium, which have fungal polysaccharides, the fermented rice, and the fermentation metabolites. And so we get this storehouse of supportive compounds. There are enzymes, there's prebiotics, uh, there's really cool antioxidant compounds in there. There's polysaccharide. I mean, it's really just chalk filled with uh, good stuff for us. Um, these compounds would be lost if you grow the mycelia on wood because you can't eat wood, even if it's fermented wood, right? You can only use the fruit body. So by using rice and, and it's organic brown rice, uh, we have the capacity to use everything. Uh, research on mushroom mycelium is ongoing and we continue to learn every year more and more about mycelium, fermented rice and mushrooms in general. Uh, host defense is part of that scientific product process. We have a, an amazing dedicated research team and they study our products uh, and uh, they create manuscripts for publication in peer reviewed journal uh, articles. Uh, we're on that leading edge, not just in the supplement industry, but in the mycology society as well. So the following two slides are examples of some of this really pretty cool work that's being conducted by our research team in conjunction with an independent lab uh, that's uh, helped us create peer reviewed journal articles reflecting the efficacy of host defense mushrooms. Uh, the research on host defense mushrooms suggests that they can be the perfect conductor for the symphony of the immune response. Uh, this first article that I want to review, it is peer reviewed. It's uh, published in uh, uh, the uh, uh, BCM Complementary and Alternative Medicine Journal. It is um, uh, free online. So you can go online and download it and read it if you want. It's pretty cool. We published this in 2019. Uh, the turkey tail mycelium has distinctly different biological and immune modulating properties than its fermented substrate. So this helped us answer the question of, well, if the mycelium works, does the fermented rice have an impact as well? We reestablished that the mycelium triggers the engagement of innate and acquired immune cells without uh, engaging granulocytes. So if you remember like monocytes and macrophages are innate immune cells, and then T cells and B cells are acquired, but the granulocytes like mast cells and eosinophils uh, and basophils, they were not triggered. And that's important because those are the ones that react when we have like environmental triggers, right? So for long-term health and wellness, this is exactly what we want. We want those innate and acquired immune cells up and running and we wanna keep everything else kind of calm, right? Uh, 
So the fermented rice is really active in terms of immune modulation, and that's really different than the mycelium. The research suggests that overall, the beneficial effects associated with both the mycelium and the highly bioactive fermented rice work together. Uh, the mechanisms associated with the fermented rice keep the immune system functioning within the Goldilocks zone. Not too hot, not too cold, but just right. Another study that we published last year, so 2020, uh, focused on my community, and this is Host Defense 17 mushroom flagship formula. It's one of our most popular, right? The research describes complex immune response that's elicited by the mycelium and fermented rice. And the research demonstrated both a strong engagement of immune cell activity and a strong immune system resolution. Uh, there's this uh, really strong response of cell signaling uh, compounds and growth factors too that promote cellular regeneration, clearance, and resolution of the immune response. So the mycelium and the fermented organic brown rice together show us that engagement and modulation of the immune response can have a powerful impact on long-term health and vitality. All right, lots of background information there. And even this chart like shows you a lot of data, right? Uh, this, you can find a, a little bit more simplified version on hostdefense.com. You definitely wanna check this out, uh, see how some of the different mushrooms impact different areas of the body. Uh, you'll notice that all of them support the immune response. So that's great. Any host defense mushroom is gonna support that immune response. But now, if you were hoping to like do more than just immune response, maybe you say you want a little cognitive help, right? Like I can always benefit from a little cognitive help, right? So like I love lion's mane because it does support a balanced immune response and it supports memory, cognitive functioning, stress reduction, and even mood. So like, yay, give me more of that, right? Uh, but then also I can take a look at reishi, which helps with breathing and digestive function, uh, and, and maybe even some heart and cardiovascular health, right? So reishi is one of our favorites as well. So, you know, take a look at this, hop onto hostdefense.com, check out our mushroom benefits chart. Uh, it's a great way to learn a little bit more about the mushrooms. All right. So for mushroom products that best support immune modulation, we got a couple of different options available for you. Agaricon is the mascot of fungi perfecti and host defense mushrooms. It is a super cool mushroom. Uh, the research is in its infancy, but like some of the data that's coming back from it is really mind boggling. Uh, it, it's the research basically so far is saying that it strongly engages your immune response and it modulates and directs your immune system in a really beneficial way. Uh, it's a great support for maintaining that strong and balanced immune response all year long. And it also strongly modulates the immune response. So it gets the immune system engaged, it you know, directs it in a really strong beneficial way, but it also keeps it working within normal limits. It's like one of my favorite mushrooms. Turkey tail, we talked about turkey tail already, right? Uh, especially the one that was uh, published, the research published a couple of years ago in 2019. A uh, host defense turkey tail has also been studied by Bastyr University and the University of Minnesota in a human clinical trial. And as part of the trial, women who had undergone intensive conventional treatments for breast health experienced decreased white blood cell numbers and natural killer cell activity. Uh, and it usually takes a person anywhere from six to 12 months for those NK cells and lymphocytes to rebound after these really intensive conventional treatments. So in the study, the group of women receiving six grams of turkey tail experienced a rebound of immune activity after just two weeks of use. And that's really impressive. Uh, it shows that the strong immune modulatory activity of turkey tail uh, can be very helpful in a number of different circumstances. Uh, we use freeze-dried concentrated host defense products. 
Uh, and uh, at six grams, uh, it, that's a lot of mushroom material for sure, right? Um, another benefit of turkey tail is that it's a great prebiotic. So it helps our probiotic microflora thrive. So taking even like two to three grams of turkey tail a day can, can maybe shift your intestinal terrain a little bit. So you may need a couple of days for your body to kind of like adjust to that. So know that that might be a little bit what's going on if you're taking like two or three grams of turkey tail a day. Uh, know that there's also a liquid extract for people that have difficulty swallowing or there's a, a powder too. So that's, all, that's pretty economical. If you do the turkey tail powder, one measured teaspoon is three grams and one canister will last you a month. And, and, and that's pretty, that's a great uh, uh, financial savings, right? All right, for upper respiratory and seasonal support, we have breathe. Uh, so helping that immune system maintain uh, appropriate functioning, whether it's in the spring or the fall, or for some of us, it's all year round, right? This can be really helpful. Uh, it's a three mushroom formula uh, and breathe supports healthy respiratory functioning and a balanced immune response. So reishi is the systemic immune modulator or balancer. This is like, going to help your whole body's immune response stay in that Goldilocks zone. Chaga supports the balanced immune response of all of the cells that line the interior surface of your lungs, but also your intestinal tract and your skin. Uh, these are all the same kind of tissue and it's called epithelial tissue. Uh, cordyceps helps reduce hyperreactive airway, thereby increasing the volume of air that we can inhale. Uh, cordyceps also increases the amount of oxygen we take into our systems. So uh, all together, these three mushrooms support graceful breathing. The liquid is rapid in its response and often experienced within two to five minutes after a serving. Uh, the capsules can be used daily uh, to help maintain a balanced immune response as well. Uh, you don't necessarily want to take the breathe formula too late at night because it can be a little bit energizing for most people, not everyone, but most people. And so it might interfere with your sleep. So take it at breakfast, maybe at lunch, maybe before 6 p.m. to support that immune response and uh, graceful breathing. Another product that can support upper respiratory wellness is elderberry plus syrup. Uh, elderberry plus is really three products in one uh, to support the immediate immune response. Uh, one serving is two teaspoons uh, and it contains 100 milligrams of elderberry extract, 2000 milligrams of elderberry juice concentrate and one gram of a mushroom formula, equal parts reishi, turkey tail and chaga. Uh, both the extract and the juice concentrate have been found to support upper respiratory wellness, uh, but they contain different compounds. So having both provide you with a full range of compounds that can be really helpful. And then combining both the extract and the juice concentrate with the mushrooms, this provides you with that full range of support for a really nice strong engagement and modulation of the immune response. What I really love about this formula is that it tastes a little bit like blueberry pie filling. So um, like you can drizzle this on top of like coconut ice cream or almond ice cream and it's delicious. So that's a great way to get your elderberry plus syrup in here. <laughs> Damage control, right? All right. Um, MycoShield immune spray is five mushrooms. Uh, you've got agaricon, reishi, chaga, birch, polypore, and turkey tail, and they have some natural flavors that are added to it. Uh, MycoShield is great for those people that use like public transportation, maybe teachers or medical staff or retail staff too. So if you have a, a lot of direct interaction with the public, maybe you come in contact with lots of people every day, MycoShield is really your mushroom product. You've got five flavors to choose from. You've got cinnamon, peppermint, licorice root, citrus flavor, and winter mist, which is birch um, flavor. Um, tastes a lot like uh, wintergreen. Uh, you do like three to six sprays right in your mouth, just your mouth, like two to three times a day. Uh, get that immune system engaged and modulated uh, with that rapid immune response. 
<clears throat> for the whole body, for both men and women, we have stamate seven. Uh, stamate seven is equal parts of seven mushrooms. You got cordyceps, reishi, you got lion's mane, chaga, maitake, agaricus blazii, and mesima. And these seven mushrooms support balanced immune response while also supporting just about every other system of your body. Uh, All together, these mushrooms support lung functioning, liver health, brain and neurological functioning, blood glucose levels already within the normal range, your cardiovascular system and your heart, and even your muscle tissue. So it's really your whole body that can benefit from it. Um, All of these mushrooms also support a healthy intestinal microbiome. One final point about STEM at seven is that there's strong preliminary research that suggests that the seven mushroom species together increase immune functioning stronger than the seven mushroom species tested separately at the same amount. Uh, So in ethnobotanical traditions, uh, formulas are often considered more than the sum of their parts. And it seems that this is true with with the Stamet 7 formula as well. So Stamet 7 is our daily immune support. Uh, It's available in capsules, powder, or as a liquid. My community is our most complex formula in the host defense line. There are 17 mushrooms that engage a complex synergy of mycelial polysaccharides, mycelial immune complexes, the fermented rice polysaccharides, and the fermentation metabolites. Uh, My community strongly engages the immune system in a balanced way, and it allows our bodies to fight harder when we feel like we really need it the most. my community comes in capsule uh, or in liquid. So if you wanna do the liquid and put it in a little juice, you can, or you can do those capsules. Another chart that might be helpful is our immune support for every season. Uh, It takes a look at the various aspects of immune functioning that and show which products uh, support uh, the immune response in a mild, moderate, strong, or a primary uh, function, uh, as well as uh, shows you the the various like details uh, associated with the immune response. So we do have a glossary of terms, which is really helpful to figure out what does all this mean? Because sometimes people just don't know. And so it's a great teaching tool as well. Uh, and then you can see uh, my calm stem at seven micro shield elderberry plus breathe and turkey tail. So it's a great chart uh, that is also, uh, we can make that available at host defense too for you. All right, we have a wide variety of delivery methods. Uh, This can hopefully support everyone's needs. Uh, You've got the capsules, which are convenient and concentrated. Powders are the same material in the capsule. Uh, They're really palatable. If you've got trouble swallowing pills, you can take a, a half a measured teaspoon or a full measured teaspoon and put that on your food or in a smoothie. Um, <clears throat> we've got uh, the liquids, which are great for people uh, who have difficulty swallowing pills. Uh, you can add it into some water, or some juice. The teas are really delicious. Don't forget that we have some great teas out there. One's turmeric immune tea. Um, it's great for winter time. And even though as we're going into spring, you might find the peaceful mint or the hibiscus and green tea more to your liking. And then of course, you've got the elderberry plus syrup, a uh, great way to support uh, the upper and lower respiratory tract. Really your whole body supports uh, being supported immunologically. And then of course the taste, I just, It's like my favorite. So, (laughs) all right. So to wrap things up, and then we're going to take some questions, hopefully. Uh, Host Defense is more than just a supplement company that makes products for people. So we're constantly attempting to find the mycelial response to many of the problems that we humans have created in the world. So everything from micro remediation of toxic soils, uh, micro agricultural support of deficient soils, uh, even supporting bees in their fight against colony collapse disorder, varroa mite infestation, and supporting their immune response. Uh, we're 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 in that we're in it for the whole world a hundred percent, and uh, we're really glad that you're here tonight. Um, <clears throat> And 
you know, if the science isn't something that sways you, but maybe more like who else uses it or what do other people think about it? Because that can be helpful too. Like uh, it's good to see these peer reviews uh, or awards that have come our way. So notice that many, and this is just a, a smattering of the awards that we've received for our products uh, from people in the supplement industry that have looked at them, have used them, have looked at the formulas, and they just, they really love the formulas and the products. And uh, we're all really happy with them too. All right. Uh, and that's about it for our uh, lecture for this evening, the, uh, the consumer lecture. Uh, I'm going to take a look and see if there are any uh, questions that weren't responded to that might want to come my way. And we're just going to give it a second. There's a little bit of a lag um, between the um, uh, between when they're asked and when I actually get them. So okay, so one came in. Um, so a creative place. Uh, does one delivery mechanism get absorbed more efficiently than the other? Uh, they get absorbed differently. So like the, the micro shield sprays and the liquids, those are super rapid. Uh, they, they tend to modulate the immune response more so uh, in, in a more immediate fashion than the capsules or the, uh, the powders. The capsules or the powders take a little bit more time, a couple of hours, right? Because they got to get down through your stomach and into your intestinal tract for them to work. And then um, there's more of it. So uh, like if you compare like, uh, you know, like a gram of the, you know, the powder versus uh, a milliliter or two milliliters of the liquid, there, there's more in a gram of the powder. So uh, once that gets into your stomach, that's going to expand a little because it's been, uh, it's been, um, freeze dried concentrated. So that's going to expand a little, you're going to have more of that in your system, but it works through your intestinal immune response where the liquid has a more immediate uptake into the system and it's more modulatory in an immediate way. Um, so depends on really what you're going to find more important for you. Do you want to modulate the immune response and that breathe liquid will kick in in a minute or two? Or do you want to like, just make sure you have some really great immunity going forward where you're going to take those Stamets 7 capsules or the turkey tail or the Agaricon capsule. Maybe you use the turkey tail or Stamets 7 powder. So that's going to be great for long-term consistent use. All right, I think we may have another question coming in. Again, thank you for being patient with this um, time lag here. Uh, uh, there seems to be some lag between uh, when the question is asked and when I actually get it. Um, uh, Fata Pagit Pagitals, is it okay to mix the powders in just boiled beverages. Yeah. So if you're making some tea or if you're making like a soup, uh, you can actually throw those uh, powders right in your tea or your soup. Uh, I know some people that actually put their Stamet 7 in their coffee. Uh, I know that there are some coffee purists out there who are like cringing uh, when they hear that, but there are other people that are just like, oh no, I drink my coffee to get my, my caffeine. So I'm just going to throw some Stamet 7 in there too. And they find that it's just fine that there it doesn't really impact the flavor at all uh, so that can be help happy um, thalia deangelis uh, what product is your favorite for an all over well-being stamet seven is my favorite whole body whole health immune balancing formula it's just brilliant you've got equal parts of seven mushrooms you can take a gram you can do two grams you can even do three grams if you get that powder and it talk about like just energizing your body supporting your lungs and your heart and your neurological system blood glucose levels already within the normal range it's just a great all-around healthy living formula. So capsules, liquid, or powder. And then let me just check and see. 
if there are any more questions that have come in. And that looks to be about it. All right, I wanna thank you all for coming on board. Uh, I hope you all have a wonderful uh, evening, no matter where you are. Um, may you uh, all stay healthy and happy and be well. Until the next time, come see us again. Uh, hope you all be well, take care.